Hey, friend. Hello. How was in town? Pretty hot. There's quite a price on you boys. It is so unfair. I, I didn't do nothing. Well, they said you was wanted for murder. It wasn't murder. It was self-defense. And you killed a farmer? Well, firstly, I would have, but he died before I could. And secondly, well, he had it coming. He... I don't like to say. Well... Well, what? Don't just leave it there. You got him or what? We've come to rely on you, mister. I don't know what they told you in town. We've been straight with you. We ain't angels, but... We're good folks, or I am. Not now, Black. Okay, we're both good folks. So, do you got the posters? We just want those posters gone. The wanted bills. If you got them, get them here. Shit, uh-uh. Shit. Sorry about this, gentlemen, but I need the money. You boys are coming with me. God damn! Run! Off me! Get away from Off me. me! You really gonna do me like this? I ain't, I ain't going down easy. Whoa. I've been... I've been running for days. No, I can, no, I can run no. some more. Sneaky, greedy bastard. Let's see if the sheriff's pleased to see you, eh? I'll, I'll spit in his eye, and I'll spit on you when I get the chance. <laughs> it was self-defense. Whatever it was, is your business. Mine's the reward money. Uh, I should have known. What you was when I when I saw you, you damn bastard! Let me go. No, sir. Now he's got both of us. We got out Don't together. Go we'll go it. back together. Maybe they'll hang us together too. the chain gang I knew they was round here put them in the cell <laughs> the other one will be in shortly good work son damn you to hell uh You had second thoughts? I damn well hope so. Am I free then? You're a strange man, mister. Oh, please! No! I ain't going back! I ain't going... Damn these off heavy me. legs! Off me! You really gonna do me like this? Yep. Now, let's get you to the jailhouse. You know what they'll do to me? For killing a bastard that needed a killing? There's you thinking I care about anything other than the price on your head. Cold 
old bastard. You're coming with me. Hello. I don't mean to be tired. Come on. I don't mean to be. Uh, let's get this over with. Two makes a pair. Well done, sir. Well done. Put them in the cell for me. Only thing I'm guilty of is trusting a greedy, no-good traitor. <laughs> I'd be long gone if it wasn't for that bastard who brought me here. That's the price for the two escaped convicts. You know, they were all right fellers, so this will weigh heavy on me. But the coins will help. Any bound to keep on your best behavior now. I'll be watching. Come on, move already. Hey, move it! You trying to cause trouble with me? Hey, friend. Good morning to you. Well, there it is. Yep, that's the word How in town. You, you looking at that poster? They're an ugly old thing, aren't they? know that feller is farming the swamp, or trying to, up by Siltwater Strand. He's a bad egg. Fancy that. I seen him coming and going here, and I never had an inkling. Oh, hello. Been a while since you were around this way. Easy, whoa. Make sure you stay awake there, Karen. Good morning, Arthur. All right. Morning, Arthur. You all right there? Yeah. I think so. Hi, Molly. Morning, Arthur.
Still working, Mr. Strauss. What you been up to? Trying to wrap up our accounts before we leave, Mr. Morgan. So you'll be joining us in Tahiti? I uh, rather fancied Australia. A similar kind of people to us. Lots of opportunity. That tells me we're going to be ranchers. Perhaps, but um, so far we have not raised many cattle. No. So, Mr. Morgan, will you help me finalize our business here? <coughs> this is filthy work. We'll need money in Australia. Uh, for cattle and feed, I mean. Why flinch now? You never have done before. I don't know. Well, here they are. Some fishermen by the name of Davison, Algy Davison, living in a place called Catfish Jackson near Scarlet Meadows. A fisherman. And that's it. We're a union built on that, you know. Yeah. Okay. Stinks a coward right around here. You're one to talk. Drop the tough act. It's getting embarrassing. Why do you let yourself get so fed up? Oh, hello, Mr. Swanson. Everything okay, Arthur? Girls actually appear to be working. Of course. Good morning, Arthur. Javier Squela. Great oh, bounty course. hunter and revolutionary. Oh, don't start. Morning, Arthur. A stew without good meat is no stew at all, Mr. Morgan. Jose? Hey, Arthur. Come on! If we're gonna make it to this party, we yeah. sure as shit better clean up a little. So we're doing this? Oh, yeah. Old friend Dutch Van der Linde's finally showing his true colors. Social climbing. <laughs> Old Senor Bronte, that horrendous snake, has invited us to the ball, Cinderella. So my suggestion is we go and get you a gown. <laughs> you son of a bitch! <laughs> Utterly. I ain't never been to a ball in my life. Nor have I, if I am being honest. I used to quite often. There could be fine pickets. Oh, no, 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 no pickpocketing. We are here to make real contact. What kind of contact? Well, I don't know. We'll find what we can. All I know for sure is we are going to a party at the mayor's house, and the guest of honor is the worst crook in town. <laughs> I am sure that we will find something. Okay. <laughs> Gentlemen, Luca, I'm afraid the mayor does not allow guns at official functions after last year's incident. Luca here will take you to Mr. Bronte. I believe he is expecting you. Follow me, gentlemen. This way, please, gentlemen. A senior Bronte will be so pleased that you made it. We are honored to be here. Ah, that's wonderful, wonderful. That. Come, come, this way. Uh, what a beautiful evening it shall be. Mr. Brante is a very good friends with the mayor. Good evening, Pierre. Senor Napoli. As long as the mayor behaves himself, you know, Mr. Brante, he has uh, that thing, you know, uh, respect. Jose, Bill, you join the party. We'll meet you out back after we pay our respects to Senor Brante. <laughs> come, come. We'll meet you out in the balcony when you're done. Hey, <laughs> 
boys, you arrived. And you've washed for the prima volta questo mese, senza dubbio. Oh, <laughs> this is quite a party you've invited us to. Yes, quite something. Although I'm not quite sure what. <laughs> so, this is Sandini High Society. Yes, apparently so. And all these people, these are friends of yours, Senor Bronte. <laughs> no, 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 not quite, not quite. But they certainly are afraid of me. Like that one. See that wretch? He's the mayor. <laughs> Henri Lemieux. <laughs> He'll do anything for a dollar, and I mean anything. <laughs> Politics is a foul business. Yes. Oh, and that one too. That is Alberto Fuzar. He owns a sugar plantation out on the island, and he comes here to whore and despoil himself. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, and that, that is Hobart Crawley, a, a Confederate major in the war. I mean, a hero, they say, but that is his, his very young wife. I mean, a young mistress, that's the natural order of things, yes, but a young wife is unseemly. Oh, oh, the Redskins. <laughs> I have no sympathy for them, because whoever is stupid enough to get tricked by the Americans, no, they get what they deserve, huh? <laughs> yes, and a letter to the mayor. Oh, yeah, that'll save you. <laughs> and that... That is Hector Fellows, mm. this self-righteous newspaper man. Maybe, maybe you will kill him for me one day. <laughs> well, we're not paid killers as such, not in cold blood anyway. I did not know you were so particular that uh, you wouldn't help a friend. Oh, I'm willing to help in any way I can, uh, within reason. <laughs> I'm going to pretend to understand what that means. I meant no offense, sir. I'm not taken. None taken! <laughs> All these vulgar people, they hate me. <laughs> non vedo l'ora di guardarti morire! <laughs> well, uh, it has been wonderful conversing with you, but I can tell that you are very busy and I won't waste any more of your time. Yes, yes, yes. Go, enjoy yourselves and mingle with this vulgar scum. It'll make you long for the days when you could shoot each other and screw cows out on the open range. <laughs> <laughs> Those sure were the days. Good day, gentlemen. Mm, good day to you. But before you go, what uh, exactly are your plans here? Well, we've not made any... Well, we, we are going to need some money. Money, yes, of course. But there's, there's money at the trolley station. They keep a lot of cash there in the day. Now, I could not involve myself in such uh, matters. But you, pff, as a guest, yes, as my guest, bah, do it, huh? <laughs> okay, good day, gentlemen. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, ragazzi, adesso il vino buono. <laughs> I'll show you to the party, gentlemen, if you'll kindly follow me. Gentlemen, enjoy your evening and welcome once again to Saint Denis. Ciao, ciao. Gentlemen. Let's go ingratiate ourselves. Okay. Go find the mayor if you can and stay out of trouble. And steal nothing unless it's information. Of course. Can I interest you in a glass of champagne? Bill, uh, no. go make us some new friends. I'm gonna find out old Cornwall. What's his name? Milton knows we're here. <laughs> How are you? Evening. Evening, folks. Hello, sir. How are you all doing? Bonjour, monsieur. Gentlemen. Hello, sir. Hi there. How's it going? Gentlemen, uh, I hope you're having a fine evening. Ah, uh, Mr. Mayor, wonderful to see you again. <laughs> Lemieux, this intellectual here was just insulting me regarding the Redskin. I did no such thing. <laughs> but, Mr. Lemieux, I suggested that all of us, as Americans, had a duty to take care of people living in this land. And that extends to Saint-Denis. It ain't complex, Lemieux. And only an idiot like you, buddy, would try to make it so. 
I will not deny idiocy, sir, but perhaps now is not the time. <laughs> Typical pansy. You are drunk, Ferdinand. <laughs> I'm not drunk, you fool. But this man, this man loves darkies. Hey, <laughs> you are pretty drunk. Yeah, I'll say you and me cool off. Get your hands off me. Come on, sleep it off. Sit down and calm down. Count to a thousand. Then you can rejoin the party. How do you do? Thank you, sir. My pleasure. Henri Lemieux. I hope you're enjoying my party. The mayor. Allegedly. There's quite a place you got here. <laughs> it's not mine, and the city is horribly in debt, but we can still put on a good show. Do you know Evelyn Hiller? My lord. The writer? Well, we seem to have another deranged drunkard on our hands. Shall we? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, my lord, they're fantastic. Monsieur, please, please, please. Mr. Cornwall was quite insistent, I'm afraid. Uh, he shouted down the telephone for several minutes. Mr. Cornwall is a horse's ass and a bad horse. I'm very sorry, sir. It's not your fault. I'm a fool for trusting him. I'll come in and sign it in a minute. Let me enjoy the fireworks. Of course. Please say something about Cornwall. Yes. Find out what. Sure. Oh, I should have known you'd be here. How do you do, ma'am? Hello there. Hey, man, sir. Oh, hello there. Hello, hello there. Problems? Everything's fine. We have the place well secured. Good. Mr. Bronte has a habit of wandering about and reading whatever he likes. <laughs> We're watching him and his men like hogs. Thank you, Mr. Terrapin. Everything taken care of? The telephone, it keeps ringing. The mayor said he will sign later. 